ओम शांति दिस इज वेरी फेमस बुक इन इंग्लिश द सेवन हैबिट्स ऑफ हाईली इफेक्टिव पीपल मेनी पीपल मस्ट हैव रेड द बुक द सेवन हैबिट्स ऑफ हाईली इफेक्टिव पीपल बाय स्टीफन कावी वाइज रीडिंग यस्टरडेज अव्यक्त मुरली इंग्लिश आई वॉज थिंकिंग इन दैट मुरली बाबा हैज गिवन अस certain habits to inculcate so we will discuss about seven habits of highly effective brahmin souls from yesterday's murli seven habits of highly effective brahmin brahmins so what are those seven habits of which baba talked of yesterday first habit take taking power from power house taking power from power house and supplying everywhere spiritual light and water of knowledge this is the first habit we need to inculcate taking power from power house baba said this madhuban is power house power plant and power station you come here to fill yourself with power so fill yourself with power and then supply electricity supply light to those regions where there is no light because wherever there is no light there is darkness and wherever there is no water people are thirsty over there people are groping in the dark and people are thirsty people are restless anxious such angst ridden people are everywhere so it is your responsibility to take power from the power house and then supply connection of light and then supply water to different places baba is seeing from the above just as you see from above what are the areas where there is light what are the areas where there is not light what are the areas just as government also sees takes care that every village has got good water supply and good electricity and good light supply in the similar manner baba also is seeing from above which are the areas of this planet earth where baba's knowledge has yet not gone so our first habit which we need to inculcate is every day sit in meditation and take power from the power house and give this power to the world give take the spiritual light from baba and give it to the world take the water of knowledge from the ocean of knowledge and give to the world this is the first habit we need to inculcate first habit we need to imbibe in our personality taking power and giving power now it can have two it can be done in two two ways it can be a mental service or it can be a gross service you can take power from baba in meditation and give sakash to the world one second you understand the knowledge and then try to relate this knowledge giving this knowledge to souls to all different souls baba said everywhere there is scarcity of knowledge of light so your responsibility is to fulfill this deficiency which is there in the world first this is the first habit okay second habit second habit is to what in baba's words sit in the shade of in the cool streams of god or super sensuous bliss or super sensuous happiness while there is a fire around but you remain cool you remain calm you remain tranquil within this is a new habit which we, we need to inculcate there is a fire everywhere different types of fire baba has described of worry of stress of tension of problems or atom bombs such a fire is there around the world but you are calm you are quiet you are sitting near the cool shores of the ocean of love ocean of peace whilst there is a disturbance and turbulence around to experience peace and coolness and calmness is a habit while there is upheaval around 
you remain unruffled you remain unrattled that is a new habit which we need to inculcate that is the second habit third habit be an angel and with divine intellect give divine visions this is a practice being an angel and with your divine intellect baba has made a prophecy that a day will come angels would be visible everywhere so this practice we need to do now this is a habit which we need to inculcate even in that last seasons last murli also baba said you do this practice i am a brahmin i am an angel so practice of being an angel and who is having divine intellect and is giving divine vision of this land and of father this is the second habit practice of being an angel second or third third habit fourth habit bringing on the stage of center all the different professionals fourth habit is we think that it is our responsibility to serve people of different sections of the society not a single person should be left right from the laborer to the big businessman right from the person of village to a person from a big city right from a poor to the a rich person everyone should be involved in this task that's why baba said always talks of three authorities three sattas rajya satta dharma satta and vigyan satta involve these people and bring them on the stage of center this is the habit means if we have not done this service we need to focus on this service more and more what are the sections of the society which are still remaining what are the sections of the society whom we have not served let's go and serve them all some vivekananda has said somewhere in one of his speeches he said let new india arise from the peasant's cottage let new india arise from fritter shop let new india arise from the scavengers let new india arise from that cobbler's home let new india arise from the mart and the market let new india arise from the mountains and the groves let new india arise from all these different places because these are the sections of the society some of them are always molested so that's why let the new india arise from the poorest of the poor the lowest of the lowly the lowest from there the let the new world arise new india arise that was his vision of the new india so the not a single person should be left every one of this planet earth should be empowered with spiritual powers so that is the fourth habit fifth habit first three uh, first second and three this fourth one we will take as a three first three habits are from first murli and next four habits from are from second murli fourth habit i already told which i said at third one uh, to sit near that cool ocean and experience super sensuous bliss fifth habit is finishing all types of dependencies finishing all types of dependency baba talked about three different types of dependencies first dependency is about your own second dependency relations third dependency nature and circumstances one should be ideally independent in life this is a great virtue to inculcate rather than making any person your support and then becoming sorrowful it is best to walk this path of spirituality all alone none is yours in this path except god we are alone here the moment we try to make somebody our support sorrow comes suffering comes because with that expectations comes it is the policy of zero expectation spirituality is the policy of zero expectation no expectation from anybody don't expect that somebody will walk with you don't expect that somebody will support you don't expect that somebody will give you love care and attention no this is a path you need to walk alone 
this is the bitter truth of life but yes that is the truth because all those who have taken supports have ultimately come to sorrow all dependency leads to sorrow all dependency leads to expectations all dependency leads to that false sense of hopes and then those hopes are smashed to smithereens one day and then you land up into despondency so be independent walk independent political slavery is the lowest form of slavery though politically we have become free india has become free in 1947 but are we really free we are still in some sort of slavery some sort of emotional slavery intellectual slavery somewhere we are slave servile to our own sanskars unless and until we become the master it cannot be said that we are free and there is a great joy in freedom there is a great joy in liberty such a bliss is not there anywhere imagine a slave and imagine a master who is happy how can a slave ever be happy in life the life of serfdom or slavery is the worst of all the lives that's why we should strive to become the master of our own selves not depending on anybody for anything once we discussed about different types of independence first emotional dependency physical the first is physical dependency you are physically dependent on somebody you want somebody to carry you hold your hand why we have seen so many of our dadis till end they did not want any support of anybody even though they were unwell still internally they did not want to take anybody's hand even so that even physically so long as so that for that you have to keep your body fit and healthy and sound so so that you no need not to have physical dependency on somebody one second is emotional dependency you are so much dependent on somebody and emotionally attached to that person the moment that person says something you are upset emotional attachment that is an emotional slavery get rid of this emotional this is the worst form of all the slaveries emotional slavery then there is intellectual slavery you cannot do anything take any decisions of your life you have to depend on others take the help of their intellect you tell me you guide me you show me the path what i should do my intellect is not working why has not baba made your intellect divine cluttered intellect shivani bhai has used that word intellect is cluttered is filled with multiple things so intellectual dependency then financial dependency you are dependent for money on somebody it's best in the brahmin life to remain financially independent so that you don't have to ask anybody for money at least So these are some of the forms of dependency. Baba said, "Finish all the dependency. If you finish all the dependency, then only it will be said that you are the one who claim all the rights, adhikari. You will take all the rights only when you finish off all the dependencies. Make the declaration that I am alone and I would walk alone and God alone is with me. I don't want anybody, anybody's support, anybody's sweet words to inspire me. We don't want God's words are enough for me. I don't want any human support." the moment you try to seek human support inside you become infirm weak so this is the which habit fifth fifth habit sixth habit let others move forward in letting others go forward is merged you are going forward baba has said while talking with mothers and pandavas mothers get happy when brothers are praised or they go ahead brothers are happy when mothers go ahead even baba cited the example of brahma baba shri baba made brahma baba ahead brahma baba made saraswati ahead chakdamba ahead so letting others go ahead rather than having that green serpent of jealousy raising its hood within you why this person is going ahead in letting others go ahead you go ahead such a remarkable 
principle of wisdom nugget of wisdom so letting others go ahead this is a habit and last habit is divine romance divine romance soul is female god is male let this divine romance happen we have seen what happens with that worldly romance we have understood seen or experienced in the previous births on this birth also what happened in that worldly romance in that worldly marriage so let soul get married with supreme soul with that supreme soul and experience that all the things which happened there in that romance try to experience those things here you know there was one story in that uh, old man and old woman wife and husband they realized that we never did romance in our young age so they start to do it now in their old age so what they do they start meeting each other secretly <laughs> they see that nobody should see us <laughs> they do everything what young uh, people do so they start doing everything they just see they write letter and if somebody is coming they hide so that nobody should see that letter because they want to experience that stage of romance because they realize that we didn't do romance in our youth we were just married arranged marriage and the romance part was missing <laughs> so they start in reenacting that so they start doing everything they, they see the youngster and copy them and they start meeting each other in garden and seeing that nobody should see all those things they start doing so this is a worldly romance so here you have to do divine romance you know they sit together and they have good talks that is known as sweet nothings sweet nothing is a word used for the conversation of romance uh, uh, lovers sweet nothing so have that sweet nothings with your pew baba says i am your pew i am your beloved i am your mashuk the divine husband the supreme husband the divine the supreme beloved have that divine romance with him baba said soul is female god is male so have that talks those meetings with him writing letters to him meeting in secret talk with baba secretly and the moment somebody comes just keep quiet he should not know <laughs> this is known as divine romance so these are the seven different habits which we need to inculcate in order to become highly effective brahmin to run a highly effective center we will revise and then finish first habit taking powers from the power house and <coughs> providing light and water supply to everywhere all those places where there is it's not there one second habit is second habit is actually that was fourth i didn't i forget forgot that's why i said made it second the second was from the first murli first murli be an angel be an angel and divine light and divine vision and divine intellect angel with divine light and divine intellect and divine uh, vision give divine vision to the world second third habit bring on the stage all the different professionals strive to work on everyone which are the professional which are still left behind laborers or whatever engineers doctors and lawyers there are so many other professionals in the world gardeners drivers uh, technicians so many are there work on them that is three so three habits from first murli four habits from the next murli of the fourth habit fourth habit is uh, dependency finish off all the dependencies fifth habit is that sitting in the, near the cool shore and experiencing coolness calmness tranquility while there is a fire around this is the fifth habit sixth habit is sixth habit is let others go ahead rather than becoming jealous or having that comparative vision let them go ahead in there if you make others move forward you automatically move forward this is a very paradoxical principle baba has said let others go ahead and you go ahead of them 
but not with the goal that you wanted to go ahead of them <laughs> okay so that is six and seventh habit is godly godly is a little and little less divine word divine word is a sub, very very pure celestial romance divine romance godly romance unworldly romance extra terrestrial romance <laughs> supreme sublime romance pure romance sacred romance sacro sanct romance immaculate romance unsullied romance uncontaminated romance unadulterated romance unstained romance <laughs> so this romance we should have with god so today you can have your valentine day every day almost you have to miss your valentine write a letter i am missing you you know on whatsapp they send a message to each other i am missing you then the message comes i am also missing you so let us wait baba will also send i am missing you too much you are missing me now but i am missing you from because in my whatsapp baba says last scene is 4 am baba is sending you message on whatsapp at 6 pm that your last scene to me is 4 am <laughs> you have not seen me after 4 am at all just your last scene on baba's whatsapp it is showing status last scene because you have not seen him you have no time you are busy with the world <laughs> so have that continuous continuous communion with god that spiritual romance om shanti